As dropshippers, we are always trying to find more profitable products and improve our stores. But there are some very easy tips and tricks that can help us to maximize our profits for every buyer that comes to our stores and get much more sales. In this video, I will show you nine different strategies that I am implementing in all my stores to improve my profits for every client that comes into my store and wants to buy any of my products. Short intro and we are starting. Hello everybody! So our first method to get more profits per sale from our products is to have partnerships with our suppliers. The partnerships can be private partnerships, direct partnerships with our suppliers if we work with big sites like AliExpress for example, or it can be a special partnership with a specific supplier. For example, in AutoDS we have a special link for a discount of 3% for any purchase from costway.com. You can get more details about it below this video. So this method will really help you to get more 3% of profits per sale when you work with Costway. We have something similar for Banggood where if you go to Banggood's dropship center, instead of 5% discount, you will get 7% and you will be much more profitable than your competitors. And we will talk about it later in this video. The second method to maximize your profits when you work with uh, dropshipping products is using the lighting deals. So if I go to any site, for example, we will take uh, banggood.com. We have here the flash deals section. If I go to the flash deals section, I will see there that I can see more products with discounts that are with the discount right now. So for example, this camera uh, price is $30 while right now it costs only $13. Now think about it. Not all of the dropshippers are using dropshipping softwares and not all of the dropshippers are following the prices of the suppliers. It means that if you work with flash deals, you will be much more competitive and you will be able to make more profits per sale because instead of really decreasing your price, you can decrease your price a bit just to be below the competition, but to grab more profits. So for example, this product, I wouldn't really decrease the price as the, the sales price is $13. I would sell it as uh, considering if my price was for example, $20, and in this method, I would grab at least 10% profits more from the sale. That's the second tip. Tip number three, use the global shipping program of eBay. What do I mean? I'm talking about it in other video, which will be in the description of this video, but the global shipping program is a program that will help you to send from United States suppliers, not only to United States. For example, if you work with Amazon.com, you can send only inside the US, but if you work with the global shipping program, your audience and the people who can buy from you will be much bigger audience. What do I mean? If I go to a site which called, for example, similarweb.com, which is a site that shows traffic to stores, to sites, I will write here ebay.com and I will get the result of how many people are going to buy on ebay.com from different countries. Now, if I scroll down here, I can see that from the United States, it's only 80% of the traffic of ebay.com. But what about Canada, Russia? United Kingdom, China is less relevant, but more other countries. What about them? What about all the people that come to buy from these different countries on eBay.com? If you are not using the global shipping program, you are missing these people and they will not be able to buy from you. This is why we created the guide about how to work with the global shipping program. And I'm really, really recommending you to use this program and apply it to all your listings that doesn't, they don't have the global shipping program and don't ship worldwide from other sites like AliExpress, for example, that offers you worldwide shipping. Fourth thing that I'm doing in my stores is to add at least 10% of my products as products with coupons. The coupons can come directly from the supplier from a specific partnership, as I said in the tip number one, but you can also use 
service, for example, like the Autodesk Finder. In Autodesk Finder, we scan Amazon every day for coupon products. Now think about the huge potential of it. Sometimes Amazon offers you coupons of $50, 50% discount even, or 20% discount or $20, it doesn't matter. They offer really huge discounts in a term of coupon for different products. How can we use it for our stores? We just put the regular pricing for our uh, products and then when we place our orders, we will grab the coupon and grab much more profit per sale. If we take a look on the Autodesk Finder, we can see here that we have the products with high chance of coupons, which are products that Autodesk found that they really have a coupon right now and then you can upload them with the click of a button directly to your store. This tip made a huge results to part of uh, the people who I taught in the past and for the students of our mentors. You can even see that on our mentorship uh, program page, the huge profits that people shown there. Let me show you that. For example, this student of Clayton in the mentorship program showed a huge result of $80 difference from a coupon that he uh, sold a product using this coupon. So think about that. This user made, for example, around $13 in profits, but he made additional $80 in profits just using the coupon. By the way, the automated orders will also grab the coupons for you automatically. Tip number five, use dropship center of different sites when they have this option. For example, Banggood.com offers you a dropship center with huge discounts. We have a full video about how you can get there immediately a VIP level and get more discounts, but I will talk about it shortly in this video too. So we have a partnership with Banggood.com that offers you 7% discount initially instead of 5% discount that everyone who will register to the dropship center will get. Below this video, I will add a link to uh, the Banggood Dropship Center and to the video about how to opt in to this service. Now, how will it help you? If you go to Banggood Dropship Center, you can see that you can get up to 20% discount just from this that you are working with the Banggood Dropship Center and then you will get much bigger advantage over any of your competitors and grab much more product, much more profits on your sales. Now, something important here. You need to be consistent with one dropship center because if you sell more using this supplier, for example, Banggood, you will get bigger discounts and Banggood will love you more and then you will get much more discounts per sale and grab much more profits. So I really recommend you to take one supplier where you focus on their dropship center. I recommend Banggood because they have the US shipping center and Chinese one and then just grow with them more and more until you get to the highest discounts here and then you can be much more competitive, sell much more and make much more profits. Tip number six. Let's say that you listed in your store a product where the keyword was the um, lightweight tripod. Now, let's say that you listed this product from a US supplier, for example, Amazon.com, and you will have here the uh, different prices of products. Now, if we check what is the average price here, we will see prices like $30, uh, $17, $70, and many other different prices which are higher than $30 in average as we can see here. Now, if we go to any Chinese supplier, for example, AliExpress, we will see on the same category and on the same keyword, much, much cheaper prices, which goes up to $10 from what I can see here. Now, think about it. You can take a product that sells well for you from a United States supplier where the prices are much higher and then <clears throat> list the same product from Chinese supplier where the cost for you will be much cheaper and you can grab much more profits. That's what I do. I'm first listing products from US suppliers. I see that they work well for me and then I'm just taking the same product, finding it with cheaper price, which usually will be from Chinese suppliers, listing it to my store, and I will grab in this method much more profits for sales of the same product for the same keywords. 
Remember, what's important in eBay search algorithm is the keywords. So if the, key the keyword is the same, the photos are good, mostly you will be able to still compete with yourself and with other sellers for the same product, for the same keywords, but with much cheaper prices because you buy buying it from China. Now, something important here. It will decrease the sales a bit because the, sh the slower the slower shipping time but not all of the buyers are uh, care about the shipping speed so it means that maybe some of the buyers will see your product and will not buy it because of the slower shipping time but for this you also have your products for the same keyword from uh, united states suppliers with faster shipping speed i hope that it's clear it means that basically what you do, you take the same product with the same keyword and listing it with two different shipping speeds. One from China and one from the United States. Then people who search for cheaper prices will buy from your Chinese listing and people who search for faster shipping will buy from you, your US warehouses and US listing. Remember, it cannot be the exact same product because it's against eBay's uh, policy, but it can be similar products on the same keywords. And again, not exactly the same title, but something similar with the same main keyword. I hope that uh, this uh, tip is clear for you. This one is really important and will really help you to scale up your business and to gain more profits per sale for products that you already know that works well for you. Seventh strategy that I'm doing in my stores to increase my profits per sale is using the business policies. If you put the right business policy, you can grab some more profits using a very simple and special trick. Let's see what I do. So if you go to the account settings here and then you click here on a uh, business policies you will have here all your policies now let's say that you work with china but you can also implement it for a u.s suppliers in the same uh, method just think out of the box how to implement it right so what I do is that on my policy, I offer one shipping uh, method, which is a bit slower, for example, economy shipping from China and another one, which is the standard one. Now for the standard one, I will grab more profits, two more dollars per sale, just for this, that the buyer will ask for faster shipping. Now for us, when we work from Chinese suppliers, the price will be the same anyway. And anyway, AutoDS will include for you the shipping price inside the product price. But what we do here is that we give to the buyer the feeling that they can get the uh, product faster using this, that they will just pay you two more dollars per sale. Now, from my experience, really high percent of the uh, buyers will ask for faster shipping and will pay you this two extra dollars. You can play with it. You can put a bit a lower amount or a bit bigger amount and just grab more profits using this method. Now, if you see here, here I take more uh, uh, money for the shipping. And this is because from this to these locations, the shipping is more expensive for me. And this is why we also uh, grab more profits here and asking more money from the buyer for this shipping. Tip number eight. This feature is one of my favorite features in AutoDS and this is the price optimization. You can do that also manually and just use the uh, bulk changes and filters in your tool if the tool doesn't support the price optimization. But in AutoDS, what you can do is to configure the AutoDS platform to increase the price for you automatically every sale. So what I do here is that after I sold at least one uh, product from a specific product, the price will be increased after each sale by 5%, for example, in this case. Now, what does it mean? It means that when we start selling more and more, the price will be increased more and more and we will do more profits because we will have an advantage over our competitors because we have more sales history and um, we will just grab more profits for the uh, sales. Now, I recommend you to start increasing the price not after the first sale, especially not for beginners, but 
after something like two or three sales at least. Another thing here is that you shouldn't worry about this that the price will be too high because Autodesk will also decrease the price for you automatically and you can just take a look on this feature. It will just go and decrease the price every X days uh, according to your configuration and uh, this way you will still be competitive in case that your price went too high. The last tip here, tip number nine, is using the messages to buyers. Take one product that uh, works well for you, your best selling product, and it should be a generic product. It should be something that not very specific. It shouldn't be a chair, for example. It should be something that most of the people will find it as relevant for them. For example, a gift or something for, for home or some, something for garden, something that most of the people will find it relevant, especially for the specific period of the year. You should also think maybe we are in the summer or in the winter or in this case right now COVID-19 and find something that is really general for the specific season. Then take this product and push this product as upsell to your users, to, to your buyers. How to do that? When you have an order, it's highly recommended to send three messages to your buyers. Thank you for buying for us. This is your tracking number and, and uh, please leave us a positive feedback after the buyer received his order. Now, we can maximize it for ourselves. If you go to messages to buyers, thank you message, you can add here a link to a hot selling product and say there, hey, I know that you bought from us and I want to help you even more. This is one of our top selling products and we highly recommend you to buy this because right now we have a discount for this product, for example, and you can even offer them a small discount. Then most of your, of your buyers will not buy that, but part of the uh, buyers, even a small percent of them will still buy that and then you will grab more profits for a specific client that anyway bought something from you. This tip is amazing because it's really easy to implement. It doesn't take you any time, especially if you work with the automatic system of the messages and it really, really works. I hope that you like this video. I hope that you will implement these nine tips. It will increase your profits. Each of the tips will increase it by a small percent, but all of them together will do will make a huge difference in your store and in your profits. See you in the next videos and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel, like this video so more people will get benefits of this video and share it with your friends and other dropshippers to help them become better sellers. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.